What's indicative about Thai cooking is the amount of prep time compared to cooking time and no different with the pad thai is I've got about 10 or 15 minutes of prep before I actually cook. The cooking time will be two to three minutes. I'm going to start with, with from the bottom up. I've got garlic. I'm just going to finely mince the garlic and I don't smash the garlic like some people do. I find that all the flavor gets onto your cutting board rather than in the, in the garlic where it should be. I'm going to use three chilies. I'm just going to slice them and do kind of a mince, which is going to give the pad thai the, the heat. And the tomato, all we want to do is take the core out, cut it into quarters, and then just take a little bit of the core out and just scoop the seeds out with your thumb into bite-sized pieces. Next, green onions. And I'm just going to trim the tops of these off and just cut them into about five centimeter slices. Again, just bite-sized pieces. I'm not going to use too much of the white because that uh, requires a little more cooking time and it's a, quite strong, whereas the green is a little lighter in flavor. It's going to cook quite relatively quickly. And this is a tamarind that I've taken the whole tamarind and I've reconstituted it in hot water and I've just put it through a sieve, kind of a tamarind pulp. And I've got peanuts. And what I've done is just put them into a mortal and pestle and just pureed them up. Next, I've got tofu. And what I'm doing with the tofu is just going to slice this up into bite-sized pieces. I've got my noodles here, they're, they're a rice stick. And what I've done is just reconstitute them in cold water rather than hot water. Hot water is actually going to cook the noodles. I put them in cold water for about an hour. And when I stir fry the dish, that's going to finish cooking the noodles and it's going to take on all these different flavors. As well, going into the dish, I've got eggs, chicken, shrimp, sugar, which is going to contrast to the tamarind and make a sort of a sweet and sour to the sauce. What I'm going to be doing is frying the chicken in a little bit of cornstarch, frying the tofu. You can see that it's nice and crispy and that's going to add the texture. Now it's time to throw the pad thai together. I got all my ingredients ready. Now I got my wok, it's hot, it's sizzling hot, it's singing. Add a little bit of peanut oil. Start cooking the shrimp. No the shrimp's cooked, it's gonna turn from a translucent uh, blue color to pink. Next is my egg. Into the pan, it's gonna scramble it. It's gonna coat the noodles. Next, garlic and ginger. Good amount of that. Now I add my noodles. Now I'm going to start adding the flavors that's going to build up the sauce, starting with the tamarind. Two tablespoons, three tablespoons, give or take of the tamarind. And I can feel the chilies in the back of my throat now. That's going to be awesome. Next, oyster sauce. Dark soy, light soy. Next, tomatoes and scallions, tofu, chicken, fish sauce. Peanuts. Finally, the Thai basil, I've just ripped it into pieces, into the pan. Just a little bit of chicken stock. A little bit of sugar. And I just give it a taste. Now, just gonna plate it up. A little sprinkling more of peanuts. A little garnish of more coriander. Just to give it that refreshing, cool your mouth down. And there you have Christian's Bangkok Pad Thai. When I traveled to Thailand, I didn't want to see the sights. I wanted to taste the food, see how the people ate, see how they lived. When I tried this pad thai in Bangkok, I was completely blown away. It was like nothing I ever had in Toronto. I want to bring this dish and many others like it from my travels all around the world, my passion and flavor, and put it on a plate for Food TV and be the next superstar chef.